Guys, Shardmas Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Deluxe X-Men's Angel. Oh man, I'm so excited to have this figure. I feel like it's been forever since we had an Angel, the Sentinel Wave from the Toy Biz days, right? Oh, not counting that first class five pack. I mean, we've had Archangels, but yes, we finally have a new Angel figure with a reused body mold, and we'll get into all those details in a little bit. But first, looking on the side right there, you can see some nice artwork of Angel, and then on the back, you get some more artwork. There is a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And by the way, I like this design choice right here. It kind of reminds me of trading cards or something. I don't know. Anyway, you get that same image of Angel X on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It'd be big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here is Angel out of the packaging, and I'm already having quite a bit of fun with this figure. I really like the wingspan. It does look quite impressive. Kind of feels like I have a bird here on my review station. I am liking it. I will have some gripes. Uh, I do have some gripes, actually, that I'm kind of uh, not that upset over. But, yeah, let's get into it. First, we'll get a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll get a closer look at the figure. So the figure comes with two sets of hands, two heads, and a coffee stain. And we have this new interior for the packaging that I actually really like, seeing all these little comic book panels and everything throughout. Uh, I think that's actually a nice little touch. But anyway, we've seen these hands before. Uh, we have these wide open hands from Vulcan. I just don't like these so much. I would have preferred to have uh, the flat set of hands, like these Quicksilver hands. I feel like these... Oh, there's a hair right over there. Yuck. But yeah, uh, it's, but I feel like this gesture just works a little better for the flying poses. No, uh, that just looks a little bit better to me anyway. So I wish we got a set of these hands right over here. That would have been nice. Uh, but I really do like these head sculpts. Aside from some minor gripes, I really do like these a lot. Uh, my gripe is that I feel like there's a little bit too much pink around the cheeks. But I guess he's soaring up in the air. And I do like the sculpts, you know. I, I thought his eyebrows would be blonde, but whatever. You know, it, it still looks good. I like the hair sculpt and everything. So just little minor gripes, but I think they look really good. And I like having this smiling head sculpt as well. This looks great. Again, the cheeks may be a little bit too rosy, but still, I, I like it. Looks pretty good. The line work right here for the mask looks really clean on this one. I really like that. Or is it a headdress, not quite a mask? This one, not as clean, but still pretty clean. I mean, yeah, this one's pretty clean too. Maybe just not as crisp on this edge right over here. Ooh, my teeth whistled. <laughs> So I think this figure looks really, really clean right here. I did take the wings off. I will demonstrate how to port those on in a minute. But yeah, I'm glad that Hasbro went with this particular suit. I've been wanting this one. This is the new Defenders look or, you know, kind of the X-Men look. Instead of yellow gloves, he has the white gloves. But yeah, this is one that he also wore with the X-Men as well for a brief period of time, right? Uh, but I do think that this new upper torso, um, all made of ABS plastic right over here, looks really good. And you need that to support these wings, which I'll pour in again in a minute. Uh, you get some nice paint on the back over here. Looks mostly very clean. I don't like these forearms. I wish I thought that Asbro was going to swap this out a lot more often than they actually do. Yeah, you can see the huge difference right over there on the gloves. It's kind of a bummer. So, yeah, th that can be distracting at times. I do like the pinless joints. The paint's going all the way over there. The deco for the halo looks great. Uh, the paintwork for the legs looks really good. I don't have any weird chipping going on for moving this. Oh, yeah, I do. Right in there. Right deep in the crotch bit. Yep, missed that. So you will get some scuffage moving the legs around a whole bunch. Similar thing going on with the boots, but I didn't really expect that so much. And I'm a little bit more okay with it because I want the calf rotation. This one, I don't really care to have forearm rotation. See? And then there's the feet, and you get the peg holes right here. And the wings look really nice. I really love the paint detail on these feathers. Look at that, man. That looks really good. Now, you're not getting as much paint as the Toy Biz version, but you get that same tone of yellow on there almost you know it's got more of a tan color to it but i like these and i'll do some size comparisons later on 
These wings look fantastic. Now, as far as having three sections instead of just two, because most of the time we just see two, I do appreciate them kind of, you know, going a little bit extra. And by the way, you can see how the paint looks over the plastic. You can see how some of the paint chipped off in the hinge right over there. But yeah, I do like how they look when they're all splayed out. But I don't know. I also don't really like having this extra layer right here. It kind of distracts from the overall aesthetic. It takes me out of it, you know? I could see the engineering and stuff like that. Now, it is nice being able to splay them out really far. You get a really good wingspan here, but, you know, it's getting gappy. So uh, that's about as far as you could really go right there, which I guess is farther than if it was just two. But if this second piece looked just like this, then I feel like that would have been fine. However, yeah, when you collapse it in, well, I guess if you went even further, it would kind of run into itself. See, yeah, there you go. There's the issue. Okay, I see what they're thinking. All right. Oh, if you wanted tiny wings, you could just do that if you wanted. <laughs> There's a little give and take over here with that. Uh, I understand. I don't know. It's something new. It's something different. Uh, porting this on in damn it review spot. You better not screw this up. Inside joke right there for me and like RKT, TKR, and maybe Century Productions. And uh, You could just port them in right here and they're... Pretty good. They're, they're locked in there. All right. Shake, shake them around, shake them around. Yeah, pretty good. But yeah, oh, they even got the feathered pattern right over there on that pin. These work out very well, man. I like the articulation on them. I don't know. I think they look really good. I like how far in they can collapse and everything. So it's pretty sweet. It's fun to work with. Really nice to have on the shelf and everything. Fairly easy to get them to stand with them all collapsed and everything too. So yeah, yeah these are pretty sweet. And you can splay them out and he'll st still stand on his own pretty well yeah he stands on his own just fine no support or anything like that just angel and wings and feet i'm not going to give you guys a thorough articulation segment we know how this body mold works but we do have a new upper torso right there and you do get good crunching forward with it and of course it will bend back the head joint allows you to move all the way up with that disc hinge with the ball joint right there so that is pretty sweet and to go ahead and measure out this angel's wingspan holy crap i really like the Width of this is at about 16 and a half to 17. I feel, I, yeah, this is 17 inches across. Okay, 17 inches across right there. And to measure out his height, you can see he's standing at about six and a half inches tall. And then for your angel comparison, we have our Toy Biz Angel next to this new Hasbro Angel. And it's really hard to compare these two just because this one cannot stand on his own. The wingspan, I feel like the mass of the wings are about the same. They're just splayed out differently. You know, you can see this one has more of a horizontal span. This one has more of a vertical span to it. But yeah, you can see them kind of stacked in front of each other like that. You obviously cannot swap, you know, the wings between the two figures, but I think it's pretty cool to see them side by side. And yeah, uh, this just allows you to move them up and down. And there was a hole in the back, you know, to get them on those old school toy biz stands. But yeah, this is just a much better angel figure, I think, overall, right? I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Do you still prefer this one, or do you want to go with this one? I like this one more. I mean, you can move these all the way forward. You can bend them all the way up like that. You can move them downward. There's quite a range of movement to these that just allow for a lot of posability. That just makes it a lot of fun. The only thing I wish was different, like, as if this last piece was made out of a softer material and they had a bendy wire in it, so you could fold this around. That would have been pretty cool, but I'm still really happy with this. And then for your Warren Worthington comparison, you can see Angel next to Archangel right there, the Angel of Death, and I like how these wings look side by side like this. You could splay these out a lot farther than these can go, but I don't know, I just kind of like how, I mean, you could always go ultra big with the Archangel wings, that, that those will never really be big enough, in my opinion, uh, they could always be monstrous, but I still really love this figure a lot, even though it came out a while ago. Are you going to fall again? God damn it. And then for some team size comparisons, I wanted to show Angel next to our original five X-Men right over here. I believe I have all these costumes, right? Well, I had the red and blue human flesh toned beast, which I would love to see an action figure of. I, I do want that beast figure. And then for a new Defenders comparison, you could see Beast, Iceman, and Angel next to Moon Dragon, and we have the Monster Mash Valkyrie custom. And then I guess we also need Gargoyle, Cloud, and Andromeda, right? Uh, I would love to see a Gargoyle figure. I'd love to have that. I'm sure it would be badass. Or all of them. It'd be nice to complete the new Defenders. 
Hey, but we do have a complete set of the Champions of Los Angeles, and I think this is pretty sweet. Uh, I like having all these characters lined up like this. I did read that issue where Spider-Man went to L.A. and he had to fight Angel a little bit. That was pretty sweet. I think it was Spectacular Spider-Man number 17, something like that. And kind of random, but just to do it, here's Angel next to the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure, and then we have the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. And then here's Angel next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, it's an angel. A oh, nice angel with hollow bones that can't hurt me, right? There's no way you'd hurt me. Oh, a hugga wugga from the back is kind of... Whoa, where are we going? Whoa! Whoa! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you to all of you who are watching this video right now. And I really do appreciate your viewership, especially there's so many cool videos that came out on YouTube this morning that I saw in my own feed. So the fact that you chose to watch my video on this character who is not super popular by any means, it's not like this is a Wolverine or anything like that, I really do appreciate it. And I really appreciate this figure too. I think it came out really awesome. I love seeing Hasbro do different things and I think this is a very different figure. They've approached this wingspan in a different kind of way, at least for Marvel Legends. I haven't seen a Marvel Legends figure that actually has a wingspan span quite like this so I like that they're doing something different it does get a bit bulbousy at the edge of those wings at the top part of the wings yeah. so that at that joint right there it could be a little ugly looking especially when you zoom in you can see the giant stack of plastic right there it does throw me off so you know it, it's not 100% perfect I wish it had flat hands too but I really like the head sculpts. I do like the body mold choice. I have my frustrations with those gloves and everything too. So, uh, of course, it's not a perfect figure. I do have my qualms about it. But I really do like it a lot. And I'm very happy to add it to the shelf. And at the price point of around $35, I'm going to give this angel figure a sun rating of... And I'd like to know what you guys think. I might get two. I'm thinking of getting a second one. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm looking at getting a second one. What do you think? Do you need to get two? Is one just fine? Because he's on so many teams with this suit. Or at least two teams with this suit. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you want to go ahead and follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. I'm on those old school... Uh, on... Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.